This is a busy street in New York City, and this is Erica. She is looking for a quiet office space where she can take a break in between meetings in the city. She's using a new app on her phone called Breather to find a building that rents offices by the hour. The app uses a map and shows you photos of the offices that are available. The app is called Breather because having a breather means taking a break. Now that she's found the building, Erica chooses an office space and buys an hour. Breather is a network of beautiful private spaces available uh, in major cities um, right now in Montreal and New York that you can find, reserve, and access via our mobile app. Now that she has bought an hour of office space, the app sends her a passcode that she can use to open the door. The office looks just like the photo on the app, but Erica doesn't just use the office space to work. She sits down to take a breather from traveling all over the busy New York streets from meeting to meeting. Um, I'm always all over the city every day. I have different things to do in different parts of town, different appointments, and I can't always go home in between, and I don't necessarily want to go to a coffee shop or just hang out, so um, I would definitely use it sort of if I, you know, if I, if I had an awkward amount of time. Breather's office space is convenient because she doesn't always want to spend hours and hours in coffee shops. The New York City manager of Breather, Packy McCormick, also says that people don't always rent their offices to work. So we love people having meetings. Um, we love people coming to take a nap. We love people coming to do their homework. All of that you can, you can do. Use your imagination for what you can do. Breather has some rules for what people can and can't do in the office spaces. It wouldn't be fair if people used a room for band rehearsal if their neighbors were trying to work or rest next door. To me, it looks like a great place to work. 